In its 12th year as an international celebration of all things vinyl and all things local, Record Store Day is one that folks at local independent shops like Euclid Records and Vintage Vinyl can hardly wait for. We call it like Christmas for us technically, you know, it's just, it's a great day because these limited, first off, limited edition releases come out for that day that strictly come out just on that day. Orlandez Lewis is a record store lifer, working in the business now and coming around these places with his dad since he was in grade school. And I started collecting records about 20 years ago or so, so that was in the late 90s when no one was, you know, listening to records and you're like, what do you do with these things? They don't even make turntables anymore. And we still get that question from time to time too, of people like, what do you play these things? on it. Those were the years when vinyl was essentially declared dead. The compact disc and then the MP3 came along, seeming to push records into the same pile as eight-track tapes. But there were holdouts, people like Chris Tucker, who refused to abandon the cumbersome black disc. And I think I was kind of on the tail end of this generation, but the generation that kind of like grew up reading liner notes and, and like you would see like, oh, they're thanking this band, this band. Oh, I'm gonna go check that band out now because that's how, like, that was how things worked like before. It wasn't like you were hearing buzz about bands on the internet. It was like, oh, these are the bands I like. Let me listen to the bands they like. Yeah, I feel like it's like books. There's always gonna be that physical media that you're always gonna wanna hold and cherish. Um, with records, you don't get the same thing that you get with something on your iPhone or on Spotify. You know, you actually can hold it, you can see it. If you're like somebody that loves music, you, you're probably a fan of like classic album art, things like that. There's something about being able to see it like blown up in your hand instead of just a little picture on your screen, you know, on your, on your phone or your iPod or whatever. As people like these were holding on to their records for dear life, record stores were collapsing, thanks in large part to the internet. Powerhouse chains like Tower Records were shuttered, but many of the local shops held on. Record Store Day was established by a group of independent owners to try and drum up business. It worked. Vinyl started taking off again with several of the Record Store Days setting new records for album sales under the industry tracking system in place since 1991. Just over time I've just seen it spiral into just greatness basically. Now record companies are on board offering special releases and big name bands are a part of the hoopla too. Live shows take place in seemingly every store around promoting local music and promoting a vibe of community. A special wink and a nod among those whose passion for these relics of the past never really waned. I always love to just come and like kind of bask in the festivities, be around like like-minded people that like Everyone's here, everybody's like here for the same reason, to celebrate music, celebrate vinyl. 